Hey everybody, really quick update video. Um, so about a week and a half ago, I was absolutely terrified and I was taking our Rhodesian Ridgeback puppy to the vet early in the morning as uh, she just out of nowhere started peeing blood and uh, she was vomiting. Um, she was having strange discharge and was just uh, not really being herself. So we um, rushed her to the vet and it turned out that she had a really, really bad bladder infection. It was pretty severe. Um, she ended up having one round of antibiotics. We took her back to the vet and um, they determined that the infection was still present. It had calmed down, but it was still there. So uh, they decided to go ahead and give her an additional round of antibiotics, which on one hand, I was not happy about because I don't like antibiotics. I don't like uh, using medicine um, when it's not necessary. But again, that's the key word, when it's not necessary. So it definitely was necessary. And, um, you know, we just wanted to really stick on the safe side and make sure that we did everything that we could um, to support her body and uh, make sure that the infection um, had gone away. So fast forward here we are into the second week of uh, Zara's treatment and um, she has two more days of antibiotics and she'll be all done with that um, we definitely expect that at this point um, the infection is pretty much going to be all gone because it was just barely lingering at the time that we took her to be rechecked after one week so we just, you know, we've been making sure to uh, keep her, you know, on plenty of fluids and on a regular uh, routine with her exercise and things of that sort. Uh, but she has been feeling a lot better. The blood, the blood in her urine stopped about three days of being on the antibiotics and um, she's been getting better and better ever since. So if you guys um, ever have an issue like that with a pet, um, definitely you know, it is pretty serious. You wanna take them in right away as soon as possible. Um, as long as they get the treatment that they need, everything should be okay. And, you know, I definitely am going to incorporate, <laughs> uh, we're getting ready to go to the store. Um, I'm definitely going to be incorporating um, some different things into her diet. And after a little bit of research and putting something together, I will, you know, love to share that on here as well. Um, I want to transition her more to um, a natural diet and not just, uh, you know, based primarily on kibble. So um, that's something that I'll be working on in the future that I think will only help her <laughs> uh, stay in good health. Um, yeah, but that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you a really quick update. And um, I'm really grateful for all of the support uh, that I did get from that video of Zara. Um, it meant a lot to me. Um, I love her so much. We love our pets um, very much. Um, they're, they're family. And uh, we're just really happy and grateful that she's feeling better. So yeah, that's about that. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And uh, I'll probably plan to show her a little bit more in the channel um, as we go forward. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Zara. Say bye. <laughs>